Good, good. Okay. So let's cure Captain Olimar and then see what the deal is. Because I'm pretty sure if this is the end of the main narrative, is curing Olimar, then it's going to fold over into the post-game. And if it does fold over into the post-game, we have a hell of a ride ahead of us. Because Pikmin 2, the way Pikmin 2 constructurally works is, after you finish the main campaign, you go back to the planet from Hokate to go get Louie, because Louie gets abandoned on the planet. And then you have to go through another two levels, I think, to find him, so... And there's quite a number of caverns to do. There's a plethora of exploration you have to run through. And then you have to fight the Titan Dweevil, and the Titan Dweevil sucks. Nice. Okay, we got 12 more Glow Pikmin that we can use as well. Welcome back from your night expedition. Thanks to you two, I was able to prepare the medicine. You did it. That means we can cure Captain Olimar. It's been quite a journey, but we've accomplished our mission at last. Well then, everyone, get ready for an exciting morning. Because it's not going to be Olimar, is it? Or it is going to be Olimar. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It probably is. Either that or it's going to be Louie. And it's not going to be Olimar at all. Yes, Captain. That looks like Olimar's nose, though. I don't remember Louie having a nose like that. It is Olimar. Nice. So many spacesuits. Who are you guys? Excuse me while I get my bearings. I must have been shipwrecked. Looks like I've caused you all quite a bit of trouble. My apologies. I owe the entire Rescue Corps a massive thank you. Truly. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to mention. I'm Captain Olimar of the Great SS Dolphin. A hard worker and family man who often sacrifices his time off to support his family. He also seems to be a magnet for bad luck. You're telling me. Or once great SS Dolphin, it's currently in disrepair. My employer is going to be less than pleased when I return home. Well, if you hadn't been shipwrecked, we'd never have found all the treasure here. We could use some of the profits to buy you a new ship, and while we're at it, let's get the SS Shepherd plated in gold. Bye. Gold plated? No, no, the SS Shepherd would look better with a chrome finish. <clears throat> That's enough joking around for now. Yeah, we still have the post game. Officers, prepare for our voyage home. Nice. Okay, so we rescued Olimar officially. That was quite the adventure, but we finally rescued Captain Olimar. Mission accomplished. Or is it? Because I have a feeling it's not. I mean, it is, but it also isn't. Because either we're going to get greedy, or something bad is going to happen, or I'm going to have to go rescue Louie, or I'm going to have to go rescue Captain Olimar's son that also crash-landed on the planet, lest we forget. Because there was a second team that was sent to go rescue Olimar. And they crash-landed as well, remember. So I'm pretty sure we're not even close to done yet. We must say goodbye to them too. Farewell, Pikmin. Thank you for everything. What if we crash landed, like, as we're sailing out of the atmosphere of the planet, our engines fail and we just careen back down and crash? Take out, like, 20 Pikmin while we do it? That'd be incredible. That'd be so funny. I was honestly thinking some giant creature was gonna emerge or something and attack them while we were flying off, and that would have been like the thing we have to go fight at the end of the game or something, but I guess not. That's beautiful. That looks really good. Honestly, for a Switch game. It's just like the whole galaxy bathed in light. It's pretty neat. Okay. Okay, well, here's the credits, but like I said, 
Even though the credits are rolling, even though you can read the words on the screen, even though there's happy, nice, bright, shiny sun and music playing, it's not over. Hell still awaits. And there will be hell to pay, for sure. Pikmin is never over when you think it's over. They just give you the illusion that it's over. They just get you in a sense of complete comfort before they tear into you, pretty much. So, while the credits play, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna go to the restroom. And then we'll see what the post credit scene is, because there's going to be a post credit scene. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so thankfully I've missed nothing. This is gonna get really hectic. For sure. So let's see what the end game for Pikmin is. I might as well do that while the credits roll. So, Pikmin 1, you have the final trial. After you go through everything and get almost every ship part back, you have to fight the Emperor Bulblax at the end of Pikmin 1 as the final boss. Pikmin 2, you end up coming back from Hokitate, and you have to go rescue Louie, who's been kidnapped by the Titan Dweevil. And the Titan Dweevil is this amalgam of parts that have different things. Like, it has an electric thing, it has a flamethrower, it has poison, it has a water shooter. Um, it pretty much has everything, so, like, everything your Pikmin are weak to, it has. So you have to, like, really, really use your Pikmin carefully during that fight. And then in Pikmin 3, I don't know what the deal is with Pikmin 3, because I haven't played it, so I, I... no fucking idea, no clue. And then Pikmin 4, obviously, I have no clue as well. There's Louie. That's Louie right there. That's Louie. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It's always Louie. This guy is a bastard. This guy is an absolute piece of shit. Oh, Moss is Louie's dog. I see... So Louie must have been stuck on the planet, and then Moss became Olimar's dog due to the familiar scent. That makes sense. Okay. So Louie's still on the planet, so... Louie might be looking for Olimar, maybe. Maybe they got separated or something. Okay. So the post credit scene was in the credits, so it wasn't exactly post credits but... What this means is, number one, we're gonna have to go out and find the other rescue team. Secondarily, what this means is that Louis is going to be a piece of shit, and he's gonna fuck us over somehow, because Louis is always doing asshole -ish shit. And I forgot what it was. I think Louis in Pikmin 2 went back to the planet to get more treasure or something, and that's how he ended up getting kidnapped. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played Pikmin 2. Uh, maybe later on down the road when I can find the time, we'll go back and we'll play through the entire Pikmin series. Because that could be a lot of fun. And it wouldn't make sense to just have Pikmin 3 and Pikmin 4 on my record without going through the other two games. So, we may do that at some point. It won't be anytime soon, I can tell you that. Because I am stacked for uh, projects that I have coming. So, uh, we're going to have the Silent Hill 2 remake. We have Lords of the Fallen. We have... Uh, Black Myth Wukong, we have Dead Space, we have so much stuff that I have to get through. Rain Code, which I've been meaning to start and I haven't started yet. So, like, we have all these projects that are going to be happening very soon, so. 
Although, with separate ways finally completed, that opens me up to do some other things. So maybe next stream, now that we've done the base game of Pikmin 4, maybe we'll start Ring Code. And maybe we'll finally carry on with that. So I've been meaning to start that for quite some time. And I've heard nothing but great things about it. As to be expected from Kazutaka, Kodaka, and Masafumi Takada. Impeccable duo. So I'm assuming that the credits are almost over. The music sounds like it's kind of fading out at this point. And that appears to be the last credit, so... Let's see what we have in store for us. Hey look, and me. I'm in the credits. Look at that. Amazing. Thank you, Pikmin 4. You know what they really should put instead of my name and giving me a due credit? What they should do is... Rip to the 155 Pikmin that got lost over the course of this playthrough. Just one final call out of my ineptitude. That would be great. Cool. Let's see. Rescue results. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. 229. About double what I expected. I said 155. Okay, so progress. So we had four levels, not three. My bad. So, four levels. We didn't do the last one 100% because I don't know how to access that one area. Our playtime was about 32 hours, which is about average for a Pikmin game, I think. Let's see, we lost 50 in red, 40 yellow, 135 blue, Jesus Christ. We lost 25 ice, 5 rock, no pink, we lost 4 purple, and 5 white. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's see what the post-game of Pikmin is. Here's the post-game. Here's what I was talking about. Everything has led to this. Let's see what kind of bullshit haps happens to bring us back down to the planet this time. Crash. Engine failure. Warp space. Wait, suspend the warp, now. Something's wrong with Ochi. Oh, is this his tail thing? Uh-oh. It's this fucking dog, dude. I told you we should have shot it. It's been a gimp to us this entire time. What could this be? Space sickness? No, it would take much more than that to put a rescue pup out of commission. But there must be some explanation. Ochi's symptoms seem to have stabilized since we stopped the SS Shepherd and paused our flight. We need to head back to that planet right away. Olimar, what's going on? I'll explain later, but right now you need to turn the ship around and return to the planet. Quickly. Great. Okay. So what's going on with the dog then? I'm kinda curious. So, like I said, in every Pikmin game, there's something that makes you turn around and go back to the outlying layer of hell that you've endured the entire time. So, what that means. More missions, more caverns, more dangerous creatures, things with machine guns, things that swallow like 50 of your Pikmin at a time. It's gonna be rough. So, I'm telling you, batten down the hatches, buckle up now. Make sure you have a bomb shelter outfitted with a ton of cans of Van Camp's beans, because it's gonna get rough. Essentially. I didn't expect the endgame to have to do with Ochi, though. I should have expected it, but I didn't. We'll take that explanation now, Captain Olimar. Just look. Oh, now he's fine. It's because he's a Pikmin, isn't it? It's because he's part Pikmin, huh? That's gotta be what it is. I think that leaf may be the cause of his troubles. Before the Rescue Corps received my call for help, I did attempt an escape from this planet on my own. But unbeknownst to me, Moss had snuck into my ship's cargo hold. She started exhibiting symptoms much like Ochi's. I rushed back to this planet, and that's when I shipwrecked yet again. I don't know why, but organisms growing these leaves are seemingly unable to leave this planet. No, that can't be. Yoni, can we use the medicine you created to cure Ochi? Actually, while making the cure for Olimar, I had a hunch and tested it on Ochi too. Sadly, it had no effect. So what do we do now? Uh... 
I don't care about the dog. I really don't. Look at it. It's horrifying. It stares into your soul. Of course, you're Ochi's loyal partner through and through. Yeah. I didn't talk about shotgunning it and putting it down a couple minutes ago. For self-preservation, not at all. Listen up, everyone. During our attempted escape from this planet, we received a message from headquarters dated a while back. We must have been out of range while within the planet's atmosphere. So, what did it say? Yeah, what did it say? It's a request to rescue all castaways currently stranded on this planet. They provided a list. Here, take a look. Oh my god. We are in trouble, boys. This is a long list. Huh, I know this copite now. Well, I know of her. She's famous in academic circles and is a preeminent veterinarian. Perhaps she can help us cure Ochi. Nell isn't the only copite on the list. Did she come with companions? No. Makes sense. She probably wouldn't have come here alone. But I don't remember encountering any copites when I was a leafling. If I had to guess, I'd say they must have crashed in an area that neither the Rescue Corps nor I have explored. Then we'll have to find a way to extend our radar's reach and expand our search radius. Sounds like we're going to need more Sparklium. Officers, let's get to work. Still resist, by the way. Copy that. Alright. Cool. So this is what I was alluding to before. Russ, do you think it's possible to boost our radar even more? <laughs> oh, Colin, never underestimate the power of science and forethought. I've already implemented a direct connection between the radar and our power source to give it some extra oomph. Oh. Excellent work, Russ, and impressively fast, to say the least. I can't say I understand most of what you just said, but it sounds like we should go ahead and switch on the radar. Great. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Post-game Pikmin has more maps, more levels, more caverns, more stuff to do. Now then, let's begin our search. So what do we have now? Hmm. We got something. Multiple SOS signals have been detected in an unexplored area. Some of these signals have to belong to Nell and the other Copites. Let's get this rescue off the ground. Ochi is counting on us. Nice. This Nell is a renowned veterinarian. She should have some ideas for what to do about Ochi's tail. F focus search efforts in the newly discovered area. Righty then. Rescue mission day 43. Righty then. Let's go see what's up. Oh, Olimar has something he wants to chat with us about. Okay, but he told us to stop by later, so let's do that later. We've picked up a signal from the new area. It most likely is coming from that Copite veterinarian, Nail. Let's get her back here quickly so she can give Ochi a full examination. Which area would you like to explore? The new one, obviously. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Far down the coastline, eh? Giant's Hearth. Okay. So, we'll go explore the giant's hearth next time. Actually, you know what? Really quick. Just because I have a funny feeling. I want to go back to the hero's hideaway real quick and see if we can do anything with that stove or not. It says we have five out of six rescues. So, we are missing one cavern in here, it would appear. So, if we are only missing one cavern, then that must mean that those two caverns are connected to each other. And they're not two separate individual caverns. Plus, our progress is at 81%, so that would lead me to believe that we have one cavern left. And the rest of our remaining stuff is in this one cavern. 